I will wait on the others. Okay. Yeah. Hello. They are my great nephew. Oh, really? Oh, Lordy. You see me with the strap? The kids always say, I see you with the strap. Hello. What, what's your name? Kai. Okay. Hi, Kai. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Good. 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 This is my island in the sun Where my people have toiled since time begun Though I may sail on many a sea Her shores will always be home to me Oh, island in the sun Will to me by my father's son Morning breaks the heaven on high I lift my heavy load to the sky Sun comes down with a burning glow And mingles my sweat with the earth below to operate the timing so way that somewhere around four o'clock we are ending the motorcade and uh, we are going into the we're going into the bridge area where we will have our speeches where you will go and see the cup and saucer where you will be explained as to what is the current status of the proposed plans for the area in addition to that of course we know we plan to cook out all the individuals who are doing the cooking etc they're done, they're ready, they're on with their activity. So we should be able to have an excellent and joyful time together. Any questions? So somewhere around 5.30, we're looking to wind up because the bus will be taking the folks back to town. Six o'clock, they'll be taking the bus from Soup Ball, which is just about 200 yards away from the bridge. Any questions, any queries? Everybody good? Everybody clear? Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, so over to... Marcia. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Mike? No, I don't need the mic. <laughs> everybody, um, first of all, thank you so much um, for being here today. This is all about Barbados, right? Barbados. Um, I want to thank you for your donations. We were able to take care of the bus. Come on, give yourselves a hand. Woo! So they are already paid. We still have about five other service yeah. providers. And I thank you for those of you who come to shake my hand. You know what I mean? So um, we need a couple more of you to come and shake my hand, all right? <laughs> so that when we are, as we always do, whenever we, we're, when we're done, we are done and everybody's taken care of. Mm -hmm. I want to say about the police. The police, they are our friends, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to work with them. We always do, okay? Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that, you know, we are respectful and we follow what we are supposed to do. All right. So um, thank you so much. And I think we're going to have a time a prayer. Yeah. Talk for two minutes and then I can. Two minutes. Okay. Talk, yeah, you talk for two minutes. I must talk for two minutes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you, Manasseh. Okay, so we um, we have space, because I know some others, that we have space for probably about four other persons to be on this bus. I know the ones who have already come to me and said that they want to be on the bus, okay? So we have space for about four other persons who did not drive, and you want to be in the motorcade, then we have space for you on the bus, okay? Okay. All right, and, and we are going to do our best. Um, we were told at the Ram House to help with directing the traffic because it is a dangerous corner. 
So this will be our fly to help. So when you see this, wherever you see, you know, there's some sort of instruction that's to go with it. So just follow the instructions. Okay. Um, any questions? No? Well, I know we have um, Mrs. Lewis is here. And um, she's going to um, say a prayer blessing for us. Yes, okay. Are we ready? Yes. Let's go ahead. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your mercies and your bountiful love towards us. Thank you for your son. And as we engage in this activity, we continue to ask for your divine guidance and everything would go smoothly. We ask your blessings and we ask your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, any questions? I'm waiting on Mr. Lewis. He's still speaking. Everybody walk with your soup bowl. You walk with soup bowl. <laughs> you don't drink out of your hand. You walk up your hand. Oh, oh wow. This is a heavy handshake here. Heavy. Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the gentleman just wanted to be clear in terms of the um, I route. I can't reach you like that. We, 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 we appreciate it. We yeah, appreciate the bus and the last hill is a very steep hill so he's a bit concerned about that so instead of going down the hill he wants to put the forks off on top of the hill just to the water down because it's, a, it's an area that we have a ward on there at present you know so it could be a little dangerous so we could accept the left road because of that all right so we want to have a word of prayer before we go prayer ready is it open <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Be prepared for me. Thank you very much, man. Yes, man. Boys, I need to Marcia. Where's, where's Marcia? Oh, she's gone to the police. So people, um, you can sort that out. No problem. People can sort that. That's like one person in the cabin.
Tiago é nosso. Um ano de pé houses em Tiago é nosso. Get to find out. And you would understand that the strategy about this life is not about saving money, but it is about investing money. Who wants them in Bathsheba? Who wants them in Catawash? All the politicians, what they saying to us, not about here. And I want to say to you, encourage them to understand that not about here. Giorgio Bridge is ours. Giorgio Bacardi is ours. And we are not moving.
beautiful Barbados, gem of the Caribbean Sea. Come back to my island, Barbados. Come back to my island and please come back. When the night winds are blowing
come back, you know. Right. I worked in McDonald's for three years at Vitro Lux Limited. <laughs> it's a new screen, brings in a sign, making a record. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's my little water. Is that water? Is that good. It's just still on the mark, so make sure the It's a bit like a mark. Fill this boy here up. I bought it in for two hours. Two hours just bought it. Thank you, brother. I want to get a second bowl for you. To me. So enjoy with yourself to the fullest. Enjoy with yourself. Yes, people, enjoy with yourself. You know that this government feel that like they can do anything with us. Push we here, push we there. Nah. Nah. We got to do what we know is right, and we know what is right from wrong. So anytime that when I come to take advantage of we and take where we belongs to we, we will always stand up for our rights. Because we believe in justice. No man can come from all Australia or wherever and come up here and say that he's taking over this place where our people can come and have their, their a nice time to relax with the family, nice time to enjoy life from all the frustration from tongue and, and the job and all the, the stress you get. You know me on your work on the workshop. 
You know what I mean? And it's a nice time to spend with the family out here. As we've been doing this here for years. For years. So we'll leave that we got you on. Come and take care for me. Nah, man. We are bunda. We are fire bunda. Fire bunda. We are fire bunda. Like the, like the elderly lady say, fire bunda. Yes. We bunda. We, got, we are people of people of intelligence. We have saints and we have not even common sense, intelligence. Right? And we know what is right from wrong. And we must stay strong on our values and, our, and, and, and stay virtuous at all times. Don't let no evil come and intimidate you. Don't let no, no, no ignorance come and take over your mind. The stupidity. Stand firm in what you know is right from wrong. Keep your character right and straight. Keep your positivity within and stand firm on your ground. And we stand firm on this ground today. George River, that this beach belongs to me. This river belongs to me. Nobody can come and take it from me. So drift back, peel back, and wheel back. And let them know that in Australia or where we come from, this belongs to me, and you will take it away from me. For your band up, like the woman said. I'm going to pass over the mic to the brother. They call him uh, the Suck Up Bongo. I know this quite a name to me, but <laughs> we love you all. Yeah. Yeah, family. I was supposed to be the MC, but the fish soup was tasting so good. I couldn't even um, come down with So the order of the day was supposed to be um, Felicia DeJoy, but they didn't, we didn't see her, she's not here. So uh, Caswell, Brother Caswell, come on up. God, listen, this be, this listen, Barbados belong to me. I want I want everybody to know that. Whether all eleven parishes, our ancestors died, there was rape, there was behind, murdered, you you name it, for us to be to for us to have this today. And we ain't gonna allow nobody to come to Barbados, white, black, Indian, or whatever, and think that they're gonna take over what belongs to us. Am I correct? All right then, we on the right track. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you all for coming. And you interrupted my soup, but I will get back to that. Because there's a bit more and things important than so, you know, um, because something going in, but something's going to come out of my mouth today. Look there at the corner, remember it's the bridge. You see Kimar standing by a sign. If you look at the sign, the sign will give you a, a short history of this bridge. And it says something about 70 feet. Little 70 foot bridge or something like that, I can't remember now. But it goes on to say that it followed the line, the railway line, and, and the railway finished in 1937. So if the railway, which was a government project, or, and it was passing here, then this could not have been private property. When did it cease being private property? But that aside, I saw pictures with people going back to slavery, washing their clothes in that river. Now, slavery wasn't five or six years ago. So the people who occupied the land, who used this land, who traversed this property here, would have had that right, because the people in this community would have had that right going back all the way then. So nobody, other than the judge or the parliament, could extinguish these rights. Putting up a sign does not mean that you want to take Because I can put up a sign and say that it's ugly, but that ain't true. <laughs> so every sign that you see put up don't make the sense. You gotta follow the law. He cannot restrict people from passing here. He cannot restrict people from using the river. He cannot build this wall to stop people from coming down here. Unless Parliament, I don't, unless the Prime Minister, unless Parliament 
Mind you, no parliament is the prime minister these days because whatever she says has to happen. There's no conscience within that party. They just do what the prime minister wants. And I am, I am not going to put myself where I got to find myself with a lawyer. But there are too many things going on. You know the people say that where there's smoke, there's fire? Well, I'm not going to repeat where the blaze I heard. But suffice it to say that the, it is, there's a lot of allegations going around, a lot of allegations going around that the Prime Minister's family have connections to the person who owns this property. I do not know if that is true or not. And I'm calling upon the Prime Minister to allay all fears. Say that ain't true, Cadwell. That ain't true, people of Barbados. People who talk about me, that ain't true. She should clear her name. I want her to clear her name. I want her to come out and say, that is only gossip. Don't wait to put me in court and sell my property. What about then? So it will waste the time. So that's why I say, I am not going to repeat the allegations. I, I, and then if that is the case, if she is, um, connected by affinity and um, in law. If she's connected in law, she's still connected. And then that would have been a conflict of interest. So I want her to come out and say to us, that is not true, that is a rumor. But I'm not hearing that. If somebody has said that about me, I would bounce up fast, I would have called brass tacks, I would have done something. I would have gone to Mars and reached out and tell them that these people shall in my name. I ain't gonna be saying no way this is ever gonna get somebody sue because you're a public person. I mean person make these kind of allegations about you, especially the type of allegations that I'm hearing, which suggests a conflict of interest, you should clear your name. If you can't clear your name, say so. And say I made a mistake. Or I did something by now I would have got caught. Whatever. Give us some explanation, but don't leave the people of this country out there suffering for an explanation. This country does not belong to Mayor Motley. So she can't do what she wants to do and don't give an explanation to the people. We did not elect her king, I mean queen. Um, sorry about that. We did not elect her queen. So she is not the queen of Barbados and she all all this thing, she can do what she like. She is subject to the laws of Barbados. So if there is such a, as the people are telling me, I got so many WhatsApp messages giving me the same message all the time. And it is bothering me. I don't want like to be bothered. My wife tells me that I'm the quickest body she knows go to stick. My mother tells me the same thing. Because from the, I know what doesn't bother me. As soon as I hit my head hit the pillow, they say I'm snoring. I've never heard it, so I can't testify to that. But they say that I am snoring. Within seconds, I've put it on my head. But you know the other day, this, these messages had me wait for half an hour. <laughs> you know, so seriously, because this thing's going on in my head and too many people, and some of the people I believe to be credible. But I can't take credi credibility without the documents. I want the documents. So if you got some documents, bring them for me. Just like the people like, bruh, they were telling me things for months. And they said, but no, you gotta give me the documents. So when they open my mouth and think I don't get sued. So but they produce it, they produce the documents, they come with all kinds of excuses. I want documents. So if there are documents that suggest a relationship between the owner of this property and any connection to the people who give him permission, because they understand with the new I've been called planning the development act, the minister is the person who gives permission here. Not the chief town planner. So if that is the case, the minister is the prime minister. And now she got almost all the ministries herself. So that's why I'm saying that if that is in fact, we need to see the documents. The prime minister need to come out and clear her name because there are too many things going on, too many people saying things. And I hope that it is not true. I would like to believe that she's still honorable. When I call her that in the house, they call her honorable prime minister. So I want her to remain honorable. And I want her to clear her name. I want her to come out and say, she ain't gonna call me and then tell me nothing. Tell the public, have one of these um, rubbing shoulders or 
St. Joseph's Peaks or whatever, do what you want to do. But come out and talk to the people who elected you. Remember that the, the, when Frandall was here, they said Frandall wasn't talking. And the people hold that against Frandall. Now she talked all over the place, but the important thing she ain't talking about. We want to hear you on these important issues. These issues that will make or break Barbados. We want the Prime Minister to come out and answer these questions. The people of St. Joseph, particularly, but the people of Barbados generally. Because I remember coming down here, as I told you on the show at night, you know, like, you know, when I was courting, you know, you got to impress the young ladies, you know, like, Gramble my way down here, so I had this old car man and did wonders. So I, I got I got claim rights down here too. You know? You know, I have to shut off this place, I can cry. You know, just like the Caribbean, when they say the Caribbean hotel pushed down, I, I, I was in pain because that was my place. Young man live home. So trust me, you need to ask questions. And if they don't answer your questions, we know St. Joseph is the place that vote for the Barbers, the party St. Joseph, St. Thomas, and Christchurch West. Don't vote for them. All right? So anyhow, we know we will get back a lot. So I can't talk. I talk too much. But, so I got to cut off now so that other people will get in. Okay? So um, I think Kimar is supposed to come over here, Kimar. Okay, come over. So, um, and I'll get back to my soup. <laughs> Good evening. Barbados. I am very happy to see you all this evening in St. Joseph. Um, this is a proud moment for me, seeing Barbadians stand up the way they are standing up in these times. They like to say that we are passive people, but today does not show passivity. Today reveals the spirit of Bassa and reveals the spirit of our traditional ancestors who would have stood with us, we were going through the torment from the colonizers. And today, we have another colonizer coming in from Australia. Because we don't like to acknowledge that Australia is indeed property of the crown. And we will bring colonizers, whatever color they are, to take over the rights, the birthrights of Barbadians. Whether we sell it for pittance, for people who do not have a care in the world, literally. They're pretending to be good at mass. They're pretending to be good at English. But they're really, really, really pretending to care about the people. This shows a pretense. The selling off of all of Barbados really shows the pretense of the misleader that we have for a leader. Because someone who stood in the center of this country and spoke about black people and black rights, knowing that we live in a black country, but it will not bring down to race because even white people use this spot. So this is about all of us, all races, all colors, all classes, all creeds, to let someone know who didn't even care enough to add to the next generation, but would rather sell it off because they want elevation to another beyond. But I will say to you, my people, that where we can't see the Lord sees, and the Lord will drag them all out in the open for us to observe the dwindling of their quality of life the dwindling of their personal wealth and the dwindling of any taxpayers money they stole they will not enjoy it in the name of the people of Barbados this country belongs to us it will continue to belong to us and we will get rid of any prime minister who think they can step in front of the people of Barbados who put you there thinking that you have a right to be a dictator in this country we were never a dictatorship. This was never a communist country. It will never be a communist country. 
And I say to any Prime Minister who wants to turn this country into a communist country, I bet you not, it will never, ever, ever happen as long as I got breath, as long as all of you people here, even the ones who are not here have breath, and we have the right to vote, and the right to protest, and the right to civil disobedience, we reserve all rights as Barbadians, as this country belongs to us, and the time of the colonizer and the whole slave is over. Thank you. I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening. This land belongs to who? It belongs to we. And we are letting the Indians, no white people, nobody come in here and take this from we. Our ancestors bled and died and sacrificed their life for us to be right here on this bridge talking how we talking. We can't turn our backs on them, right? And they don't care what Mia said. Barbados belong to Barbadians. Black Barbadians are that. Rastafari. <laughs> Good afternoon, my people. Let me say this, that I am touched by the, the, the number of people and the, the people came from all different parishes to represent this cause. And let me remind you that we do have an issue with certain things happening in this country, but some people seem to be uh, shying away from the fact that Barbados is not 11 parishes or should not be divided into 11 parishes. I have a problem with this St. Joseph speak, St. Lucy speak. Barbados is too small. We are Barbadians. And we should be able to speak to any development going on within the confines of the coastal regions of Barbados. We should speak about Barbados. I don't, we are here, and I, I'm sure the police, the journalists, everybody here, they've come, they are Barbadians. Our children are Barbadians. They're going to school all over Barbados. They have investment all over Barbados. And they should be able to speak about any issue going on in Barbados. If we allow ourselves to be constrained into just talking about where you live. When you go to town, what happens? When you go to St. Philip, what happens? You cannot say anything. You have to wait till that speaks. I don't believe in that. I am happy to see the turtle here. I'm happy to see that people take a stand. And this is not any political uh, intention here. I'm just saying that the way how we enjoy this now, that we need to be mindful of the fact that we should be enjoying this a lifetime in this country. What you do here, I would like you all to come back again and do the same thing. Bring your family. Come and enjoy this. Because as I, as I have chosen Bathsheba to be my homeland of all the other parishes, I want you all to come and enjoy the sweetness of Bathsheba. And I keep saying it all the time because this development here, when I say this development, I don't mean, I talk about the natural, the natural beauty of Bathsheba, the natural beauty of George River. It's something that it's only a part. It's only a part of this whole line, you know. It's only a part of this whole line. This may be one end, but there's another end. So we in Bathsheba, con we consider this as a continuing experience. And we are not willing to lose any part of it. If you come out here mornings like 5 o'clock, tell me say 5 o'clock, but let's say 6 o'clock, and you have that sweet breeze, that freshness, and that, in, you know, that invigorating uh, spirit. You would understand what I'm talking about. And I want you all to come back and have picnics. Listen, we are Barbados, we need to enjoy Barbados, you know. There are people who come in and see what we have. But you know what happened? They don't want to share anymore. They want to own it. 
And SV, if we don't, you know there's a saying, there's a Latin phrase, I can't remember. But it says, if we don't like what we have, somebody else will like it. And that's exactly what's happening. Because we, when we shy away from our beaches, or we shy away from them, because of our concerns, yes, we are trying. We are trying, you know, working hard and trying to get some money and trying to do certain things in order to enjoy a quality life. But what is the sense of doing all this hard work any day? The life gone. It don't make sense. It don't make any sense at all. So I want you all to, you know, enjoy the finer things in life. Don't let people come and put a wellness center. For wellness center for people overseas. And you all need the wellness. wellness. You know, that, that, these are the kind of things I'm not going to speak about. Um, all of the different technical aspects now, but I will say this. Any development in this country should deal and address the laws relating to development and the laws that we all have to observe. We are happy to have investment, but we don't want the breaking and the, the, the mandatory uh, changing of these laws to suit certain people. Then we are there fighting, fighting to cut off the house because we gone over two feet. We trying to paint the house, we put it in, in, in wood because we can't put it in a wall because somebody said we can't put it in a wall. And we are fighting with little niggy niggy issues. But yes, somebody coming and doing some big things and getting away. What, what are we saying to ourselves? We are not given a break. And other people are taking, taking the whole hog. And they cannot get away with it. I'm saying development should, should respect the laws. And everybody out here, policemen, your family too, oh, everybody out here will have that problem. When y'all come to the fore, when y'all come to do the building and you know, they, we will be asking questions, why? And I'm saying to you, this area, it belongs to Bashiva. It will remain Bashiva. It will be named for the people of Barbados. We as we are just custodians of this area. You all come down here. When COVID, when COVID's on, my wife will tell you, we can get down here. We can get down here, not here. We can get down the beaches. And the people that follow all over the Florida, you know they had a number, they had about what, 15, a group? She would, we can get down here. Man, those people come down here before us, and we just live two houses away. You know what I'm saying? People enjoy it, they enjoy it. It is lovely. Let's, let's enjoy this place, man. Don't let anybody take it away, right? So look, I plead with you, as a representative of one of the residents, probably one of the nearest residents here to, to this area, to let us, let us fight for our heritage, and let us enjoy it. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, we're gonna fight. What's this, brother Steve Gemma? Victor. Victor Lewis is coming on. Hi, folks. One year ago, I look at the videos on YouTube. One year ago, I decided I'm gonna put down my fishing lines and come down here to get some crabs, to go back to the sea to see if we get a crab cavalli. When I get right there, I'm seeing individuals digging up here and digging up there. And a the guy says to me, Lou, what we're doing here is against our conscience. We don't want to do this. These men are working for a dollar bill and say, we don't want to do this. Because what we are doing here is going to block you out from this side and block you out from that side. What is happening now, one year after, according to my good friend here, Steve German, architect, man I have a lot of respect for. One year ago, I received threats from the developers. One year ago, threats. Not from you, but from the developers. And I say this to you today. I am 67 years old, and no man ain't gonna stop me from enjoying that. But the reason why I took this stance 
is that all the sons and daughters of all of us, including those officers up there, will be able to come after we go and enjoy it. What they plan to do, according to us, when we understand joints, joints are two-dimensional, led by width. So that bridge belongs to us. The land under the bridge super belong to us. What they want to do is to build a seven foot high fence along with the gate to block us out from this side. Every proposal they made is to put us that side. And for all the, for your children officers, for our children to get back here, they must come cross those borders or come through Judy Gully and drum. How could I sit down with a clear conscience? Whenever I go home every night, my conscience must be clear. So that is why anytime Marcia Weeks calls for Victor Lewis, my brother, I'll be there. And I want for you, all of you here, spread it wide. Go to YouTube and type in prosperity versus poverty. Prosperity versus poverty. And you will see the Ayman there speaking. And he speaks a language that you will understand. Not about him. Okay, anyone else, Marcia? Who? Rose Corbin. Is Rose Corbin here? I'm pretending to be good at maths nor English. I ain't pretending, though. I ain't pretending. I'm pretending. To be good at maths, no. We know she been pretending long time. Long time. Good at maths, no. English, 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 English. Pretending to be good. Loyal sons and daughters all. Are you here? Yes, we are. Cross men of her faith and cross women of her faith. Are you here? Yes. Is this too good for us? No. Is this too good for us? Couldn't they have transformed this using the natural ecosystem into a public place for us? Yes. Is this too good for us? No. And what are we going to do about it? We're going to stand firm. And we're going to let our voices ring from north to south, from east to west and in between. No vote here. Let me hear you. No vote here. No vote here. I remember in my hiking days, when I was a little bit younger, coming along here, just my husband and I, hiking along this train route, all by Atlantis, um, the Atlantis Hotel, down to Belle Plaine, and enjoying it, enjoying it. And now it is to be taken away from us. My ancestors are up, please. My grandmother, who was shot in the night, shot at in the 1937 riots, with a bag of potatoes slipped on her head to feed her hungry children. My mother, her oldest, she's not pleased. And let her stand firm and say, "Not about here." And I want you to join me, as I would say, I got carried back. Imagining our ancestors. And history tells us that down south in America, when the freedom fighters, emancipators, were passing through like Harriet Truman, they used to hum certain songs that we call Negro spirituals. They used to hum certain songs to let the people know Tonight is your turn. That's right. Tonight is your turn. Get ready. Get ready. And I want you to get ready. And one of those songs they sang was, I'm gonna lay down my burden. 
Down by the riverside, let me hear you. Down by the riverside, let me hear you. I'm gonna lay down my burden. Down by the riverside, I'm gonna study war no more. That was warmer. The sun is setting in the west. A new day is dawning. Change is coming. I want you, if you can, to get your cell phones out. Put it on the flashlight. And let's wave that cell phone. Let's sing with confidence. And we are taking up a new kind of sword. They talk about treason. It's not the kind of treason they'll be expecting with guns and swords. It will be with her voice. It will be with her votes. It will be with her stance. You know what kind of angered me of sort? Last year, about this time or just before, we came to lunch at the Round Tree restaurant. And we traveled with a couple in a four-wheel drive. You could talk about that. The road was in a horrible state. Not true. Horrible state. Now we got road as smooth as a baby's bottom. But if you go from St. Elizabeth School, the other side of Bathsheba, around Andromeda, which is a, a site for tourists and ourselves, down Bathsheba, the road is so horrible. But they've done it, I believe, for the right. expatriate, That's right. for their investment. So get those cell phones out and join me. And we are going to declare by the riverside that a change is coming. Just like Harriet Truman would walk and hum, and the sound would be picked up, and it would go from one slave to the other across the cotton fields, and they would be singing, and they knew that they kafungal or uh, bad bad bamboozle the plantation owners. They didn't know what was coming. Get your song and let us confuse them. The song is coming. I can hear it. I can hear it. I'm gonna lay down my burden down by the riverside. Oh yeah. the riverside. Oh yeah. I'm gonna lay down my burden down by the riverside. I'm gonna study war no more. I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield. I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield down by. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna lay down. My sword and shield down by the riverside. Gonna study war no more. We've got a new war in our hands, and we're going to take up new swords, no shield, new shields, and there are our votes, our voices, and our action. Like this see the blessings. Blessings. This is, that was powerful, very powerful. Yeah. Plus, we want to thank you for coming over the course of this evening and enjoying ourselves. Give yourself a big round of applause. And we're going to be back here again on the 29th of this month. And we are doing a hike from here to Gagsil. Do we need permission for that? No, do we, we have to, right? No, we don't. Let's check in to get permission don't. to walk through the gully. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> That's right. All right. So don't forget, it'll be coming on your, the Marcel Week show. They will be promoted. But this is where we will be again on the 29th of this month. We're going to have 
the uh, yes, I already have the fish already. I have the fish already. Oh wow! The barefoots on the tree, they are a little young, but by then they will be ready. Not only ready for soup, but also ready to roll. And we can roast, and we can cook, and we can cook. All right. So we know that the folks who are traveling by bus, the bus will be parked by Subo. So we want to thank you for coming. We want to thank the officers for protecting us over the course of this evening. And I'm certain that with God help, everybody will be home safe. Do have a wonderful evening. Give us, give us Jack one more time. Jack, Jack, well, yeah, we gave you the master, then we gave you Jack. Have a good evening, people.
Alright, Billy. 